and welcome back. This is Bella Scoopa with more Let's Play East 2. I'm joined as always by my upgraded swordsman, Adol Kristen. When we last left off, we moved ahead in the plot just enough so I could get some money. Let's actually move forward in the plot today. I am probably going to need some herbs though. I do have a full supply of healing items. I have the herb, the smoked meat, the meat pie, apples, rota fruit. Marl flower and salsetta flower. Hopefully that's enough. Let's move forward. I'm just hoping to get to a certain point and then things will probably start getting a little bit easier for me. But we're not quite there yet. Still got a little bit of trouble to take care of. We need to head back. No, I'm not giving him my herb. I don't care about you. You do nothing for me anymore. We are going to head back to the snow level. It's a long journey back to the snow level, uh, but once there, we should find some enemies that are weak to fire. So I'm going to use a lot of fire. We want to head up the stairs here and here. There will be an enemy on the other side. We have a frozen shrimp. They go by Neely. I don't know what else it's supposed to be. It looks like a shrimp to me. Head up another set of stairs, and then we should be able to start going over to the west. We want to go west a ways. Actually, I think it's up this large staircase here. But then over to the west. I should be able to find, there we go, a new enemy around here somewhere. That's a Jerkard. It's an ice soldier, also weak to fire. I'm going to be using it quite a bit. And we can start heading down where we can find another jerkard. He will eventually he head down here. There we go. Down he goes and I get a level up. Just gonna start spamming fire from now on. They can't hit me if I'm that far away. Well, these enemies can't. We'll keep heading down and another Neely has shown up. We wanna keep on heading west and down. Eventually, we will find what we are looking for. I think I actually want to go all the way west here and then down. Then further west, then. No, I think I've gone too far. It's not all the way southwest, but it feels like it. There we go. Thought this was a dead end, but it's actually the thing we were looking for. Right here, you can see something floating on an ice rock of some kind. This is the blizzard bulb. It's going to be quite useful for us. Blizzard bulb, frozen ice crystals. If used in a moist atmosphere, the water will solidify. Okay, so we got an instant freeze spell. Well, instant freeze item, I should say. It's not really a spell for us to use, although it functions very similarly to how we are casting fire at things right now. It's a little bit easier when they're weak to the fire. And then they respawn on me. I'm happy with that. All right, let's head back the way that we came. Can I hit him from here? I can. I have no need for your stairs. All right, head back the way that we came. It is the easiest way. You could go around, but I need easier just to backtrack faster, too. Then this is where we were before. This is the end of our backtracking. How did I miss that? I was pointing right at him. This is the end of our backtracking. You might remember these set of stairs like that. We want to head east from here and then up the stairs. And eventually we can find more shrimp. Frozen shrimp. I don't know if they're popcorn, but they're definitely frozen. Where we can find a cave. Let's head into the cave. Now, it looks like there's not too much you can do around here in the cave, but what you can do is head to the ominous kind of snow pillar looking thing here. We will need the blizzard bulb for this. Let's use it. And it takes us forward. Let's go ahead and put on my emergency herbs again. We will head up here and down the stairs. Now this is a 
weird little area. I want to take a note of where that guy is standing right now. The Gare card. Down he goes. We want to follow the footsteps that were right next to him. There we go. A little higher than I thought they would be, but inside here, we can find the Spirit Cape. I love this item. It's not an item, I should say. It's an accessory. Those kinds of differences matter in this game. Spirit Cape, a feather cloak worn by spirits of legend, brings healing power to its wearer. Now, I haven't gotten hit yet, but... It works similarly to how the life ring works. Recover HP in dungeons when standing still. Won't be able to show it off, but at least I can heal. I don't believe that it brings back HP, even though I want it to. It does not. But now that I have the accessory that I do like, let's head out of here. Taking on more monsters along the way. I think these things make things a little bit easier for me all the uh, healing items, healing accessories. I can't remember if it was called the heal ring or the life ring last time. Either way, it healed me, so I'm happy with it. Agnids, they're new, they're ice demons, ice gargoyles. Whatever they are, they need to die. No, no going down the stairs. You don't, you don't have access to stair technology. All right, down he goes. Is that it? All right, let's move on. We need to head into the cave eventually. We'll just hold on to this for a while. Let's head through to the other side where we can find another new enemy. Uh, we have like a turtle looking thing. It's a Golgotha. Not sure if they were going for Golgotha, but uh, it's a Golgotha. That's what we got here. So we want to head up here? No. Wait. No, this is the wrong way. All right, we wanted to head down the stairs here. Notice that there was a treasure chest over there. We'll see what we can do. First, ice turtle thing. Does it have arms? I'm not seeing arms. Either way, though, I got up to level 19. We're making substantial progress today. Oh, super. Quarters. These are like Cyclops. They, they hit hard. Luckily, though, I can keep them at a distance, but they have friends. Why are there always friends? Also, he did something that I can't. He was able to walk up this. Oh, there's you here as well. Somehow I'm hitting him th down there. I'll take it. Down he goes. So let's slide down one of these. We can't climb it, but we can slide down it. Where I can find a hawk idol. This is another accessory, believe it or not. This one, well, it's a hawk idol. A hawk idol with piercing blue eyes focuses the power of fire on its target. It turns my fireballs into homing fireballs. Add homing ability to the fire magic. That sounds like a plan to me. So let's slowly come down here. Kill these guys. Now I don't even need to aim. Well, I still kind of do. It's not perfect, but it works pretty damn nice. Yeah, nothing up here. So let's head down the stairs where we can find a cave. Also, we can find this guy hanging out all by himself. And I just want to head down the cave. That's another way around, but I want the hawk idol, so I'd rather get that. So here we get kind of an interesting area. This is an ice cave, obviously. There's ice and it's a cave. Uh, but these are legitimate enemies that I'm fighting here. I know it doesn't necessarily look like it, but you can see they have a health bar. And I'm tackling them slowly. You actually get experience for this, too. Let's see how much this big one gives me. One experience. And it's scaled. It's weird. These are legitimate enemies. Anyway, you want to go across the top so that you save some of your MP by getting rid of them with fire. 
How else would you get rid of ice? But once outside, we can find ourselves the altar magic. This is quite a good piece of magic. Magic of Gemma, priest of knowledge, makes eight all a rue, letting him talk to demons. They'll have things to say to me. I don't know too many games that do that. Now that we have a new piece of magic, let's go ahead and equip it. I will constantly lose MP as I have this equipped, so I do want to make this kind of quick. But we're now a Rue, hooray! Hey look, there's somebody to talk to. This is Ur. Ur is a swath. I saw some human being taken away by a flying demon. She was a bit far off in the distance, but she seemed pretty from what I could tell. <gasps> There's only one person that could be. Also, what do you know from pretty on a human? I'm just saying. All right, let's back off. You can also switch using the R button, so let's do that. Hey, look, look there's a demon, let's kill it. It's a little weird that they allow you to talk to your enemies in these games. It does not work on bosses, do not try it on them, but it works on all the other demons. And they are demons, so I feel, well, relatively secure killing them. Let's just uh, bait it out and then kill it. The swaths hit hard, very hard. I believe even with all this equipment, it'll only be like three or four hits before I am dead, so. I would recommend not getting hit by them. There's a Mara Flower, so let's go ahead and use one so I can grab that one. It's a Snowy Mara Flower. I don't believe that either increases or decreases its effectiveness. Let's head up. Oh, there you are. What are you doing? Don't go down the stairs. You don't know stairs. See how high up I was and it still thought to go down the stairs? These demons, they're learning. Then up here, we can find another one. And three or four hits is enough to kill me, so. Let's hang out down here, huh? I was about to say, are my big ones not hitting? That seems like a lot of hits. All right, nothing else for me to do here. Well, for now, let's just head through the cave. Here we can find an herb that I don't need in any way. Full health, full on herbs. We're free to head forward. And here we can find a Cyclops. This is based on strength, so I would recommend having the best sword possible. The fireball, that is. But here we can find another treasure chest. With stone shoes. Stone shoes are another... No, they are an item. They're just an equipable item. Shoes made with stone soles. Grants their wearer perfect stability on icy slopes. So they're called stone shoes, but they're more like snow shoes. Also, we used up our blizzard bulb. But stone shoes, they allow us to walk up those slopes. So I will actually need these for certain situations. However, a lot of it involves backtracking. So let's go ahead and equip ourselves with the return magic and show off how that works. They give us the option. Where do you want to go? I don't know. How about Lance Village? I've heard good things about that place. Uh, there's a couple of reasons why I want to head back here. Number one, I can, uh, but number two, it also makes things a little bit easier for me if I just start from the beginning in that area. Uh, and number three, I want the MP, but also number four, there's some new dialogue. I can't remember who gives it. 